Hello YouTube, this is Darkon633, back with another Kamen Rider review. Today we're going to take a look at the Kamen Rider Build Deluxe Squash Driver, or Squash Driver, depending on how you actually want to translate this as. Now this is actually the new peripheral device that's used for both Kamen Rider Cross Z Charge, which is a power-up form for Kamen Rider Cross Z, and Kamen Rider Grease. Now what's really interesting about this belt is that it actually utilizes the Squash or Squash Jellies, in order to use it for the henshin. Now this is definitely different compared to the build driver, since the build driver actually uses the full bottles. These actually are not compatible with the build driver due to the fact of the shape of these particular gimmick devices. So you're not gonna get any kind of new sounds or anything else with those associated with. However, the bottles that also represent these in the full bottle sets, so the dragon full bottle and the robot full bottles will actually read as the jellies on this driver. So if you don't want to actually mess up these jelly packets, then your best bet is to use those instead. Anyways, we'll take a look at the box first. The box is pretty much what we've seen with the build driver. It has a picture of the jellies there. It's a picture of Kamen Rider Cross Z Charge and Kamen Rider Grease there. It has a picture of the driver itself. On the back, it pretty much shows how it works with the gimmicks and the fact that it works with the bottles as well. And it does have a few more pictures of other stuff there. And that pretty much covers the box. Now we're going to take a look at the driver itself. The driver is... Very interesting looking. It looks like a toolbox of some sort due to the fact it does have this ratchet there. So that's pretty cool. Well, not a ratchet, but a um, wrench, if I remember correctly. All in all, it's pretty cool, and it's actually a lot more colorful than a lot of the other drivers we've been getting recently. A lot of them are in a darker red or just a darker color in general. This is definitely a lot more bright than what we've seen in general. So that's pretty cool. The main gimmick is that when you pull down this lever, it will actually squeeze and close around the jellies or the full bottles. Anyways, we're going to turn this on. And this is really nice sound coming from the device. And we're actually going to use the Dragon Squash Jelly first. So, we're going to turn this around and plug it in. I really like how the sounds of this driver are in general. And one thing to note is it does actually squeeze the packet ever so slightly. A lot of the promotional shots and how it works in the show is that it actually squeezes and crumples up this particular actual jelly a little worse than it would be nice to since it really will damage the product just by using it. But when you look at it, it doesn't actually squeeze that hard and you actually need to use a lot of force in order to actually squeeze it as much as it does so that's good that you actually don't need to do that anyways we're actually going to squeeze again and activate the finisher so that's pretty cool we're going to take off the dragon Squash jelly and put on the robot one. So here we go. So that's awesome. We're going to activate it again and activate the finisher. Pull the jelly out and take a look at some of the other bottles that we got to work with. First, we're just going to use the Dragon Full Bottle in order to make sure to double check that it actually does make the same sound. So here we go. If 
you squeeze it again, it will still activate the same furniture. So that's pretty much the main sounds if you use the Dragon Full Bottle. But since I don't have the Robot one, you pretty much get the idea that we'll make the same sound. Now, we actually got a bunch of other Full Bottles here. We're not going to use all the Full Bottles that I have. I actually did get the Nin Nin comic set a little while back. But just to show, it actually has two more sets of sounds. One for organic type bottles and one for inorganic type bottles. So first we're going to start with Nin Nin. And if you squeeze it again, it'll activate the same sound. And then, we're going to actually use Comic now. Since it is an inorganic bottle, it's going to activate a different set of sounds. With that, that pretty much covers what this driver does. It definitely doesn't do a whole lot compared to what we've seen with the build driver. It's got a lot more generic sounds. Although it's nice that it does have a pretty interesting, unique feature, it is unfortunate that it could cause it to actually crumple up and kind of get damaged over time since you are squeezing the sides of these actual plastic package-styled gimmicks. Other than that, it's still nice that you can actually use the regular full bottles in order to activate the sounds as well if you don't want to damage these. And it's definitely a pretty interesting device, but it's definitely not really worth the full price that it's entailed. It's definitely a better idea to get this on sale since you're really not going to get a whole lot out of the box. While it does come with two full riders types of gimmicks rather than the build drive, which only had, obviously, Rabbit Tank for build, it definitely doesn't do a whole lot, especially if you don't have a lot of the bottles, and even if you did, it's not going to really do that much in general. So, your best bet is to go ahead and actually get this on sale. I actually got this on HLJ since I really like how Cross Z Charge looks like, and that's the main reason why I got this driver, since I really like that rider in general. But it's definitely easier to wait on it, since it really isn't so much worth the full package price. Anyways, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out Hero Club and Hero Taku. Also check out my Twitter, Darkon633, and don't forget to check out me on Instagram, Darkon633, as well. Please check the other channels down below, and don't forget to press the bell at the bottom of the screen in order to see my content go up as soon as possible. And back with more Conrad reviews and more, but for now, I'll be seeing you later, YouTube. Bye.